First in our nonstop news, the search continues for the suspects involved in Monday night's mass shooting that happened in Lawndale. This is community members plan to come together today to help with the healing process for the more than a dozen victims. CBS 2's Mugu Digwe is at Stroger Hospital where some are still being treated. As of this morning, we learned 10 of the 15 victims are still hospitalized. Meantime, we now know the shooting started out as a vigil for a cancer victim. Take a look here. This is cell phone video of that vigil taken moments before a car drove by and two people inside started shooting. Chicago police say it started and ended in a matter of three seconds. And in the end, 14 people were shot, including three children. A 15th victim was hit by a car while trying to get away from the scene. We understand police are now reviewing video of that shooting from a camera just across the street, but still no update about their investigation. Meantime, about 100 community activists from different organizations met up at the site of the mass shooting yesterday. The group was handing out flyers for grief support services and therapy. We can try to uh, nip in the bud any type of repercussions behind this because as you know as Chicago goes, you do one of ours, this goes back and forth, back and forth. We're trying to prevent that by all means. And in about an hour, there will be a community gathering to help the victims of that shooting. We understand some of those affected by the shooting will be there. Reporting outside Stroger Hospital, Mugodikwe, CBS 2 News.